look at me, man. Muscular. Healthy. Now I'm just a ghost. My name is Howard Ressler. I am nine-time world extreme banding champion. I had a paper route. And they gave us all these little tiny blue-green rubber bands to wrap around the papers, you know, so we could throw them onto the porches. And so they were just always around, and just would play, but, you know, and I, I'm an early child, so you just busy yourself the best way you can, you know. So I just I made different things with them, and next thing you know, you're walking through arenas trying to shoot other people. I'm Roddy Regal, and I'm 26 years old, and I've been in the sport of banding for uh, 28 years. I first found out about extreme banding on Mr. Rogers, actually. He did a segment on uh, rubber factories, and some kind of fluke happened with uh, one of the factory workers, and he got stuck through the machine. And I noticed that there was a sport for rubber banding, and I felt, well, this is what needs to be done. Rubber banding got started in the early 30s. It was started by uh, John McKay. He was um, very serious about the game. It really didn't get popular until an actor by the name of Walter Perry. He was the one who got the crowds to come in to make the sport really popular. In uh, 1943, took a rubber band shot to his head. It really got really intense after then. I mean. It's, that's how we got the rules now, but that's that's what changed it. That's what uh, that was really a day that really changed rubber band sports. The day that Walter Perry passed away.